All right. I would like to start off by giving all praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, Rakakwadash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who teach this truth in its 100% purest form. And peace, blessings, salutations to the hopeful elect. All right, I want to get into this uh, quick prayer that I had wrote out on the uh, on the notepad out. And uh, what inspired me to write out this prayer on the notepad out was reading Second Chronicles, you know, chapter six, verses thirty-four on down, man, because you know. I believe, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah, we need to pray more, man. You know, some people don't know how to pray, man. So I'm going to get into this quick prayer that I wrote out through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah. But first, I'm going to read Second Chronicles chapter 6, verses 34 on down to let the people see what inspired me to, to write out this prayer, man. It reads, if thy people go out to war against their enemies by the way that thou shalt send them and they pray unto thee toward this city, which thou hast chosen and the house, which I have built for thy name, then hear thou from the heavens, their prayer and their supplication and maintain their cause. If they sin against thee, for there is no man which sin is not. And that's correct, man, because, you know, we're, we're, we're in these uh, fleshly bodies, man. These bodies are made to go off, man. So read on. It says, and they and, and thou be angry with them and deliver them over before their enemies. And they carried them away captives unto a land far off or near. And, you know, that's, that's pretty much what happened to us, us Israelites, man, us Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans, man. You know, that's that's what happened to us, man. We sinned against the most high God, man, our heavenly father, man. And, uh, you know, he casted us out to serve our enemies, man. You know, we're in the land of our captivity right now to this day, man. And ultimately, you know, that's the main reason why Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahweh Shah, you know, mainly Yahweh Shah is coming back, man, to redeem his people. You know, mainly the elect, because only the elect are going to turn back to him. You know, and remember who they are. So it says, then hear thou. So like you, let me let me go to reading 36 again. If they sin against thee, for there is no man which sin it not, and thou be angry with them, and deliver them over before their enemies, and they carry them away captives unto a land far off or near. Yet if they bethink themselves, and bethink means to remember. Yet, if they bethink themselves in the land, whether they are carried away captive, so like you, in the land, whether they are carried captive and turn and pray unto thee in the land of their captivity, saying, we have sinned, we have done amiss and have dealt wickedly. Yeah, man, we dealt wickedly against the most high man. You know, that's why he did this to us. It says, verse 38, if they return to thee with all their heart. And with all their soul in the land of their captivity, whether they have carried them captives and pray toward their land, which is, you know, is, is Israel, man, the holy land, Jerusalem, man. It says Israel and Jerusalem is the city within Israel. It says whether they have carried them captives and pray toward their land, which thou gavest unto their fathers. And toward the city which thou hast chosen, which is Jerusalem, and toward the house which I have built for thy name, then hear thou from the heavens, even from thy dwelling place, their prayer and their supplications, and maintain their cause, and forgive thy people which have sinned against thee. It says, verse 40, Now, my God, let I beseech thee, thine eyes be open. And let thy ears be attent unto the prayers that is made in this place. Now, therefore, arise, O Lord, Yahweh, our power, into thy resting place, thou and the ark of thy strength. Let thy priests, O Lord, Yahweh, our power, be clothed with salvation, and let thy saints rejoice in goodness. 
O Lord Yahweh, our power, turn not away the face of thine anointed. Remember the mercies of David, thy servant. Yeah, man. So I'm going to get into this quick prayer that I wrote out because basically, you know, it's going into what I just read. And, 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 uh, what was that? Second Chronicles chapter six, man. It goes into that. It says, uh, I, I named it prayer to our heavenly father. It says, Barakatha Yahweh, meaning bless you, Yahweh. Barakatha Yahweh Shah, meaning bless you, Yahweh Shah. You know, we give blessings to those two names, man, because they are worthy of our praises. Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shah, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shah. Call the lawyer La, meaning all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham. Bahasham means in the name Yahweh Shah, which is our Lord and Savior. It says, O Lord Yahweh, power of Israel, blessed be your holy name, for you are true and do exist forever, even forevermore. And we praise you for sending your only begotten son, Yahweh Shah, so that through him we may have a chance at everlasting salvation. And we praise you, Yahweh Shah, for laying down your life. <clears throat> So like you for a stiff necked people that were only worthy of death, but through your blood, having faith in you and through our works, hopefully we will be counted part of your elect and to be worthy of your salvation from this coming destruction. We have come back to the remembrance of who we are. You know, we are the Hebrew Israelites or the Bible that the Bible speak about, you know. The Most High sent us into slavery, man, for disobeying his laws, statutes, and commandments. You know, we now realize that we went a whoring after other gods and bowed ourselves unto idols. We committed ourselves to spiritual fornication. We even committed all kinds of acts that were not pleasing in your sight, O Lord Yahweh, power of Israel. We now remember that we were driven far away from our land and we were carried away captives. For such acts we committed against your laws, statutes, and commandments that you set before us and that made us holy in your sight. O Heavenly Father, we pray unto you while in the land of our captivity. We confess our sins and our wicked dealings. We return unto you with all our hearts and with all our souls. We pray toward the east. In which that's where Jerusalem, that's where Israel is, and the city is Jerusalem. We pray toward the east, toward the land that you gave to our fathers, which is the land of Israel. We pray toward the city that you have chosen for us, which is Jerusalem. For your word says, If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will you hear from heaven and will forgive our sins and will heal our land. We also understand that you are not a man that you should lie, neither the son of man that he should repent, because once your word goes out, it will not return unto you void, but it shall accomplish that which you please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereto you sent it. And we praise you, Heavenly Father, for not changing, so us sons and daughters of Jacob are not consumed. This is our prayer of repentance to you, Lord Yahweh, for our sins. In the name of your only begotten son, Yahweh Shah, our big brother, our king, and our savior. Amen. So, you know, that's, that was pretty much the prayer that I wrote out, man, because it shows the Heavenly Father, you know, we remember ourselves, man, and we repent. We repent inside of this prayer, man. That's what it's all about, man. Coming back to the understanding of who you are through the knowledge and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, man. You got to realize who you are, man. You got to repent, man. Start keeping these commandments to the best of your ability, man. And have faith in those two names. Have faith in Yahweh Shah, man, that he laid his life down for us, man. You know, we are bought with a price, man, through his blood, man. You know, ain't nothing greater than a brother laying down his life for his other brethren, man. You know, so, you know, hopefully this was edifying. And with that, I'm going to say, call the law, you lie, Yahweh,